Corey Coco Golf, the future of tennis, one of the top ranked Americans alongside Jessica Pagula. Another year where she could possibly make the WTA Masters Finals with Jessica Pagula in singles and doubles. Such an amazing talent. We forget that she just turned 19. Now, listen, guys, just a quick reminder tennis in a minute. I am good energy. Poland and Tunisia, those are the two biggest markets. However, guys, when it comes to tennis players, Corey Coco Golf is the most watched player on the channel for the last month. She's big time. She's super duper big time. The future of tennis, I say it all the time. But American fans, I got to remind you guys, sh make sure you're showing love to your American tennis players because right now the Polish and African fans, they're stepping up for their players. Corey Coco Golf, Pagula, Madison Keys, all in action right now. Check out the videos. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget that. And Coco Golf is putting on a clinic right now, a tennis clinic against Jody Bridge. Now, listen, guys, they've never played before, and Corey's got 25 wins on the season. Look, she's only five wins shy of 30. And she's coming off of a 38-win season, 36 wins before that, starting the season at the age of 16. Corey is big time, and we keep forgetting that, guys. Now, the last 10 matches, she's won seven of her last 10. I don't know why she gets so much heat. She's taken out players like Putin Seva, Rebecca Masarova, Julia Grabder. Yeah, Mara and Drever. Remember, you guys were fading her on that. I gave you the lock to take Coco. Smidlova, Senyakova, Bernarda Pera, another top American. Only three losses in her last 10. All to tough players. Marie Buskova, who is a defensive powerhouse, right? One more ball in play. Iga Fiontech. Yeah, we know her. She's kind of good. And Ekaterina Alexandrova, who's someone she's beat before. Coco's pretty good, and we got to start putting respect on her name. Taking on Jody, who's playing pretty darn good. She's won six of her last ten. We've seen Jody take out Martensova, Magdalena, Magdalena, Frack, Elisa Cornet, Rakimova, and Little Money Line, Lauren Davis. Now, Jody's having a really good season herself, guys. She's coming off of a 41 season breakout, making what was a, a possible chance there uh, to win her first main tour championship, but she lost to Katie Bolter. Uh, 41 season last year, 19 wins already this year. She's playing pretty darn good, but Coco, this is a break fest, right? Coco takes the first set. She is destroying Jody. There's levels to this, ladies and gentlemen. And Jody is struggling. Everything she's doing. Corey, Coco, golf, ladies and gentlemen. This is a typo. This is the first typo I've ever seen. Corey's winning 108% of her first serves. Is, is that a challenge that she didn't get credit for that she lost? Corey Coco Golf is winning 108% of her first service points. How is that possible? She's 13 for 12. Yes, a typo, ladies and gentlemen. Did, did, was there a challenge that she should have won that she didn't win? Unbelievable, guys. And she's winning 80% of her second serves. She is winning 50% of Jody's first serves, 62% of her second serves, and break points. Two for two. She gets the job done. I don't know. The shoulder, is Jody going to call for the physio? Because this is becoming a blowout very fast. Corey Coco Golf headed towards the third round. Tenants in a minute. That fist pump is not working today. Corey on the move.